Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on AMD Catalyst Control Center on how to overclock your uh, CPU or your uh, central processing unit or computer processing unit. I don't know if that's official. But um, so what you want to do is that you go to, to the performance tab again. You need, I think you need an AMD processor and it needs to be overclockable. Whoops. Um, also, you can do it through here. Um, so to do this, it says you have to manually to over uh, to manually overclock the CPU, adjust the slider below to enable the slider and performance levels. First, run Auto Tune. So basically, Auto Tune, what it's going to do is it's just going to run this little window. It's going to tell you your um, your megahertz, your voltage, and your multiplier. And if you do override, it's going to do these multiple tests until it finds a nice stable overclock for you. Now, there is a couple risks doing this. Um, if you do not have like proper uh, overclocking hardware, like if you have a cheaped out motherboard or uh, a cheap cooler, your processor will probably overheat, and uh, again, overclocking causes more uh, electricity to be fed to the processor, so you're going to take up more power as well. Um, and this also degrades the life of your CPU. It's not going to like kill in a couple years unless you run it on extreme temperatures. It's just going to degrade its life by a couple months, depending on the overclock. If you do some pretty big overclocking, it's probably going to take a couple years out of it. Typically, processors last from 3 to 9 years. Sometimes, I've heard they go to 14. They're the most reliable component in the computer. Um, they usually go obsolete before um, they actually start having failures. Uh, which means, once they go obsolete, they still have a far way to go before they fail. And once they're obsolete, they get upgraded and replaced. Or maybe they don't get used anymore. So, uh, there's two different options here. If you want to do overriding, that's fine or you could just run autotune by itself and once you do that you may have to restart your computer you can manually stop it if you want to after it does its first test you, I think you have to at least do one test so once you do that you come back here go to CPU overdrive on, under performance and then enable this and depending on what test you did you can adjust it here now since I use a separate overclocking program called ASRock OC Tuner I believe uh, overclocked it to 3900 megahertz or 3.9 gigahertz and then I did another test for 4000 um, 3900 is a sweet spot for my processor anything above that is not going to be beneficial it's just going to eat more power and cause more temperatures and another thing guys is stability if you do too much overclocking or do any overclocking at all you're risking stability stability isn't going to like damage your computer or anything but Let's say if you too, do too big of an overclock and you don't have enough voltage or something is unstable and you start playing games, it's going to blue screen or do something like that or just crash the whole computer or shut it off or whatever. Um, this varies between everybody everybody's systems and if, in case you're wondering my uh, CPU, it's an AMD Venom 965 at 3.4 gigahertz. 3.4 gigahertz being the default, obviously it's at 3.9 right now and it's a quad core. And I know some more specs about it too, but that's just the general thing that you should know about my processor. There's really nothing else. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the, to the video or to my channel. Sorry, what am I trying to say? And leave a like if you liked this video or dislike it if you didn't like it. Hope this helped you out. And leave a comment if you got any questions or anything in general. I'll try to respond to it as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys later. And check out my other technology tutorials. And I have some gaming if you want to. I'll see you guys later. Let me know what other tutorials you guys like next.